guess life was delayed but it never gave the nine hello hello everybody it's Annika LaQuette here and you're finally listening to season two make sure to hit the subscribe happy lighthouse day everyone y'all I don't know about y'all but I love celebrating like little fun holidays like girlfriend's day boyfriend's day niece and nephew day godmother day different things like that ice cream day I don't know about y'all, but I love celebrating those little days. How about y'all? Comment below. Do y'all like celebrating the little holidays in between big holidays? Well, this is one of them, okay? It's called Lighthouse Day. This day is celebrated on August 7th of every year and is recognized by the United States Congress. This day is dedicated to lighthouses, buoys, and beacons all over America. And some of y'all may know this, but lighthouses are used to navigate boats away from danger in like you know rough waters right and also if you are like a person that like certain things to be like significant like you say oh different things like that right so lighthouses if you do not know but it also symbolizes as guidance protection resilience inspiration and navigation through life's challenges and difficulties so i have a question for y'all is your lighthouse because i have a few lighthouses but i know i like to celebrate every last one of these people who are involved in my life what is your lighthouse through your difficult times like when you don't feel your complete self and you feel like dang i don't have nobody i feel alone i feel this i feel that but then you realize wait a minute i am not alone like i have people that's behind me got my back there for me whenever i need it and i don't know about y'all but i'm the strong friend okay i'm always strong for everybody else I'm always that type of person that give advice. I'm like the mother figure. I want to see people succeed. I want to see people do more for themselves than what they're doing. I always see, I want to do, you know, I always want to talk about doing more for people, right? So that is something that I love to do. And with my friends, I always speak life into them. Then there's times where I have to have life spoken into me, right? And I know I'm not the only one, all right? You know how people say you got to check in your strong friends? I'm that strong friend, okay? I literally be the type of person that don't tell anybody what's wrong with me. I literally keep everything to myself. Like, <laughs> I am working on it. I am working on it. This year, like I was telling my best friend, this year is the year of acceptance, okay? So I am accepting the fact that when I need help, I need to ask for it, right? So this is the year of acceptance. So that's why I'm gonna get into it. So y'all, let me tell y'all, a few of my lighthouses. I would say first is my mom, okay? Whenever I'm going through something, she always have an answer for everything. She always have something that I needed, okay? Like when I'm not seeing it clearly, she always say, hey, this is another way out, right? Then I have my best friend, Quinn. She and my mom, they're both are cancers. They both are that type of grounded thing that I need, that ground that I need. Because sometimes I'm always up here right? And I need somebody like to ground me. You know, I'm a Taurus. I'm, I'm an earth sign. And, I, so, and I'm the type of person that be grounded. But sometimes I be, I be up, okay? And I don't see a way out. And there goes my mama. There goes my best friend, Quinn. And there goes my best friend, Laquanda. When she is there, she lifts my spirits up. When I'm feeling down, that girl right there, she's going to lift my spirits up. She's going to give me a call. She's going to, you know, make me laugh, make me have fun, make me just like, you know, take my mind off of different things. And then you have my best friend, Michael. When I don't, even though I don't see my best friend, Michael, all the time, let me tell y'all something. When I need Michael, he is there, okay? He is there every single time. When I least expect it, he's always there. Then you have my best friend, Jarvell. He comes through when I need him as well. That's my boy. That's my skilly biscuit. Then you got my best friend, Will. I met Will when I was in college, like right when I first started going to my um, previous school before I transferred to Morris. That was my dude, okay? He kept me sane, okay? He kept me sane. And that was my dude, and that's still my dude, okay? Then you have my best friend, Sam. Samuel Summers, when I tell you he come through with the pew, pew. <laughs> He come through with the pew pew, okay? He he's there. He's always that type of person that look out for everybody, and I make sure to check on him because he's one of my strong friends. Where, you know, he don't tell you nothing that's going on with him, but I'd be the one to be like, "Yo, you all right? I'm checking on you. How you feeling?" That's the type of person. He's just like me, where we keep things to ourselves. 
And I'd be like, dude, are you good? He'd be like, I'm good. You know, so I'm just basically, I, I check on him, right? And he is that dude. He come through for so many people. And I'd be so happy when he get that same love in return. All of my best friends, like, all my best friends, I love every last one of them. They come through for me for real, for real. And then I also have to say my Soros of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated, my Soros, my line sisters, my Soros, they come through for me. Okay. My sisters came through for me and they're still coming through for me. I love every last one of my 27. Okay. Period. And I love every last one of my sisters, period, because they come through. And not even just my chapter. It's like Sora's outside of my chapter. I could like see a Sora like driving, they, you know, speaking, or it is, you know, somebody giving me a gift and I never seen them before. Like one of my mama co-workers gave me a gift because she know that I crossed um last year, you know, and just the fact that she was like, Hey, this is a gift for your daughter. Like, you know what I'm saying? And she's a soror. So it's like that love and that support and that just checking on each other and going different places together. That's something that I love. Okay. That sisterhood is definitely real. Okay. So who is your lighthouse? Comment down below. Who is your lighthouse? Who is that person that looks out for you when you don't see no way out? Who is that person for you when you feel like there's so much chaos, chaos going on in your life and you just don't see a better way for yourself. Like, who is that lighthouse for you? Because I just list all mine. Comment down below. Give them a shout out. It could be anybody, okay? Even if it's a celebrity, the lighthouses don't have to be, like, really in your life, but it could be a part of your life. So you can see, like, a movie on TV, or you can see a talk show host, or you can see somebody that's, like, very inspirational in your life. Add them to the comments. I want to hear who that person is. And also, shoot, I probably want to hear what they have to say. If they also have a podcast, if they also have a show themselves, comment down below because I would love to hear from them and I would love to see who your lighthouse is. So make sure that you all continue to support Never Get An Eye Podcast because, baby, we keep coming out with the guests every week. All right? We have a guest coming out next week. Okay, Lady Lux, she is coming on the show, and I'm so excited. I can't wait for y'all to hear what she got to say, and I'm just so excited because season two is, like, amazing, okay? It has brought so much positivity and synchronization. I love this podcast, y'all. I love this show. Make sure y'all follow Never Get An Eye Podcast on Facebook, Okay. And also make sure you follow Never Get Night Podcast on Spotify and YouTube. Okay, make sure y'all hit the notification bell to let y'all know whenever I come out with new episodes. Make sure y'all hit the like button on this video and make sure that y'all hit that subscribe button. Because baby, I'm coming out with new episodes every week. Every week, Wednesday, 7 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Your time. <laughs> Make sure y'all support the channel. Make sure y'all keep coming back at this time and same place. Okay? So, yes, make sure y'all comment down below who is your lighthouse because it is Lighthouse Day. Let me know how y'all celebrate Lighthouse Day because where I'm from, we don't celebrate Lighthouse Day. But if you're closer to the water, then more than likely you celebrate Lighthouse Day. So, if you are close to the water, let me know what y'all do. Do y'all have like a party? Do y'all have like a social? Do y'all have something that's kind of small, something big? Let me know how you celebrate Lighthouse Day. All right. And remember, yes, life was delayed, but it never gave an eye. I'm your host, Annika Laquette, and you're listening to Never Gave an Eye Podcast. Bye.